Hey guys, welcome. So let's make this jacket in this video inside of Marvelous Designer or Cloud 3D. All right, you might probably know that I make dress from a basic shape. So I'm gonna do the same in this video. So first I'm gonna make a basic shape. All right, so I'm gonna add a rectangle just around here. And I'm gonna add two points and I'm gonna drag this down. This will be the neck hole and this will be the arm hole. So it needs to be a little bit bigger, a lot bigger. So I'm going to smooth it with the smooth curve tool like this. And I'm going to make this as like this. So it's basically the basic pattern shape. And I'm going to select that control C and control V here and right click flip normal and rest it in the back like this select both control D to symmetric paste so it like this and I'm gonna leave the side swing for now and I'm gonna make I'm gonna adjust the back pattern like this and simulate all right now I'm gonna sew this sign like this it's a bit tighter so I'm gonna make it a little bit loose and now I'm gonna select both right click and match it to start some so I can use this line together or adjust this line together so I'm gonna move it like this and also move it like this just a little bit fix the neck hole there. All right now same thing match up and fix the back a little bit make it tighter a little bit more tighter like that fix I need to fix the arm ball like this and I'm gonna select this and oops and slide it a little bit in the left side so this and also this one a little bit all right much better and maybe fix a little bit nicer and I'm gonna make it tighter here all right the arm hole looks good Mm, I have to make it tight in the back. Yeah, and you should you should not leave this like leave it like this. So I'm gonna something like that, or this should be just in a wood a little bit yeah now this is a denim kind of jacket so i'm gonna make the preset as denim and here preset i'm gonna go with denim wrong for now and it will change the change the whatever i don't know and i'm gonna make it a little bit bigger like this a lot bigger so it should go around the hip area like this and I need to I need to adjust its shape a little bit so I'm gonna make it I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger so it just can release a little bit not too much and in the waist area I'm gonna just add two points like this and select this with the transform point tool and double click in the middle and just make it like this 
Yeah, I need a nice fold around here, so it, it looks good. No. And in the back, I need to make it more tight, I guess. Hmm, like this. All right, so like this. So it should be in the front a little bit. And make sure it's smooth. This this area. So just just make it smooth with the curve smooth curve tool like this. And yeah, now it's good. All right, so the back need adjustment, especially in this area. So I'm gonna make it tight. Should be smooth, you know, smooth, it, sh it should be, it should look good. That's what I wanted to say. Don't make it, uh, this area needs a lot of work. Like, this it should go smoothly yeah I say it a lot of time but smooth is important this area though I can fix it with dirt but I'm not gonna do it because I'm gonna I'm gonna make a sleeve of course so if you're making sleeve this area doesn't matter not too much all right now as you can see this has a zip the front so I'm gonna deactivate the sleeve and I'm gonna add zip but before that uh, I'm gonna make I'm gonna remove the linked editing and now zip start from here and just drag it down single click to turn it black and again like this double click and simulate of course now I want to make this it 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 is up to you of how you want this to be like this i really hate how this zip how how the zip looks in Minecraft designer but i really hate anyway um now i'm gonna add color it's a very basic color just rectangle so it with the shift select and start then all right if you don't know what i'm doing you can watch this video i have explained it this and this one will go a little bit shorter and of course i'm gonna go and use this fullness line tool this is amazing tool by the way and like this and kind of like this so now it's tight which i want perfect and now I'm gonna select this, right click and layer clone over something like that. So now remove linked editing and symmetric pyramid sewing, delete the sewing and sew it like this and simulate. All right, now I need this it's a bit bigger. All right, to to get this kind of sharp edge sign, just select this sign with the edit sign tool and make the sign line type turned. So it's now it will now um, sharp. I don't know. I don't know the word, but I think you know what I mean. So like 
this. So I don't want this to fold too much because because I don't want it uh, like this. I really want this to go over it like this. Now I'm gonna add this pattern here. So first, just add a line, maybe like this and turn on the this intro so internal line and I'm gonna add maybe just around here yeah and also I'm gonna add around here That's why so internal line is so important. So you can match this by just seeing this like this. It doesn't need to be like exactly matched, but it should be close. Now here, I'm gonna add another line and it should be matched here. Yeah, like this, oops, like this. Doesn't need to be Perfectly perfect. All right, now I'm gonna add a pattern, basic pattern, and sew it like this first and just drag it until it snaps. So it is now same length, and then I'm gonna go and sew it from this to this, and then this to this. And right click. Come on. And the end. So I'm gonna add point and then cut and do it. So they are kind of same. I mean, same length. I want to freeze everything and unfreeze this. Maybe I need to make it smaller. Let's simulate for now. All right. Now. I'm gonna select this mesh like this and turn it in the in the inside so it should go inside of this or maybe all of my sewing is reversed yes so I'm gonna right click and reverse sewing shouldn't be reverse so it should be nice and yeah so it should cover the zip like this and of course, unfreeze everything and like that. All right, much better. Now the sleeve, but first I need to. The back of the collar looks bad because I'm gonna need. I need to pull this down, and I don't want too much of this. Yeah, it should be, you know, again, I'm saying it should be smooth. Right, now you can rest the color out of that, but why are we like this? It should be nice and yeah, like this. And make sure this is smooth enough. Right now, time to make sleeve. Good. All right, like this. All right, perfect. Nice. Now, before making sleeve, I need to fix the back collar. Sorry, back armhole. Okay, for now, I'm gonna just remove all the sewing and like this. Mm -hmm. 
All right, now add sleeve. To add sleeve, I'm gonna first add a normal sleeve pattern like this. Should be very simple. And sew it like this with holding shift. Should be matched. Just place it here and simulate for now to see how it looks. All right, for now, I'm going to make it full sleeve. So, so it simulate, and now I'm going to go ahead and like this. All right, to, to get this kind of fold, I'm going to add a sleeve cuff just around here. Maybe, yeah, and cut and sew and make it and decrease the length. All right, all right, make this line bigger. And that's that's how you can get this kind of fold in denim fabric, which looks good. All right, now I'm gonna make this kind of thing sewing here. So first, I'm gonna add a add a straight line here, and select this and this. Internal line, maybe forty. Right, okay. All right. Select this. Right click and extend trim to pattern inline. So it's now like this, and select all three. Right click. All right. Now I'm gonna select this and right click offset pattern outline maybe 10 make sure to create internal line i'm going to make it 12 and make it extend and okay no 10 is cool select this and this and this right click internal line 10 okay now so it like this holding shift like this and I'm gonna go like that. Good okay. So yeah, something like again holding shift like that. All right, now, so here, like this, cool. Here, I'm gonna go and add extra 10 millimeter and here, I'm gonna add the internal line of 10 millimeter. Now, delete this line and so like this, and then, Simulate like this and so like this. I I hope it's not too confusing. Same thing here. External line and internal line. Delete the sign. So like this and like this. It it will be on top and same like this. I don't say it's 
hard, but it's kind of, mm, I don't know what to say, but anyway. All right, now I'm going to select all this leaf, control D to symmetry, paste to the other side, and see what. And of course, you have to sew it like this. All right, now I'm gonna add a pose. All right, so this is after the pose, and I'll, I don't hate it. It's is good, I think. So this extra kind of fabric, I really love it. No. All right, now I'm gonna make the curve a little bit better just by right click and Adding layer drawn over, right click, link, remove to linked editing, delete the auto sign. So, like this, select both, reduce the particle distance, maybe two, and click on thickness, maybe 1.2. And, and then select this four, internal line, maybe eight. Yeah. And so. So you can see good detail. I'm gonna do the same thing with this cuff. Like that, remove linked editing, delete the sign, and so like this. It's very simple, I hope. Yeah, so like that. Of course, to get amazing fold, you have to reduce the vertical distance, but Select this leaf and reduce it by six, maybe. So you can see good kind of folds around here, but I think it's a bit. I don't want to make it now, it's kind of like end result. So I guess 10 is okay for now. All right, now I have to adjust this area. But again, first make it like make it curve by right click and convert to curve point. Don't make anything pointy. It's just this should be smooth. It's very simple. Just have to bring. You have to make it smooth by smooth tool, or curve tool. In the back also so like that and also here yep and of course also in front but uh, I'm gonna make this font a bit longer so I make this longer I need to make um, this a little bit longer like this yep much better now i'm going to add the uh what's this called waistband maybe just add it by similar so it like this again i have explained this one of i have explained this just go and watch this this is so useful and easy so you don't you don't have to Calculate the measurement. Well, you can calculate, but I don't want to calculate. So, yeah, I want Glow 3D do my. I want Glow 3D to do my work. Anyway, so simulate like this, and Control D symmetric based. So, and so here, but I'm not gonna show in the front. I really like, I really like this. Maybe. And I'm gonna make, I'm gonna add 
interline and should be line with this line like this and I'm gonna add I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger slide this up yeah. so here to here and of course and then right click Parent end, middle line, cut, and do it. Make sure, make sure everything is zero, zero, zero. Oh, this is not. So everything is, why is not everything good? Okay. Just make sure sure that your sewing is not the measurement of sewing is same zero 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 and let's double with this and a similar image so yeah now let's make it a little bit better just by select that and control right right click and blur over remove linked editing delete the auto sign and make it one and so like this simulate first and then select this four right click internal line eight okay and so it like this so you can see kind of the pressing the sewing detail or something uh, you should make this smaller vertical distance okay so why are we doing this all right somehow i just fix it it's yeah all right there is nothing i think is but yeah you you have to make pocket I'm going to show you real quick how to make this pocket very easy first I'm going to add I'm going to select this internal rectangle and I'm going to add a rectangle like this turn on this yeah. just see you have to you have to um, find its location and find the right shape for the pocket it is important and then when it's done add a point in the middle and just drag it like this it's very easy now uh, I'm gonna select this trace and I will sew it like this don't sew on the upper hand so select this pocket right click and super impose over and then simulate all right now of this now uh, I'm gonna select this three and this one internal line maybe five and it okay select this to right click extend trim pattern in line and so it like this same image so you can see a little bit the sewing effect all right not to make it a little bit fancier I'm gonna I'm gonna add point right in the middle sorry not here but add point here right in the middle and select this right click and internal line make sure it's both side and first I'm gonna add two here and now do this I don't need it 
maybe 10 and here also reverse direction all right now select this trace delete the internal line red internal line so it like this and do the same thing here trace internal line so it select both right click superimpose over simulate all right now uh, so here to here and here to here do the same on top but just let it like this leave it like this and then i'm going to select this right click outline maybe two and okay uh this time i'm going to delete this and like this and simulate so there will be a gap a nice little detail on the pocket which i really love okay i should make it Yeah, a lot better like this now uh, make one collision thickness and I think it is a little bit taller so make it shorter or maybe I need to make it bigger so select both and just make it bigger also just adjust its position a bit downish Alright. Right. all right now i'm gonna add a line here i'm gonna add another rectangle here so make sure it's same length move it here simulate and make it a little bit longer and add internal add point and make it like this maybe a little bit longer more all right now if you want this to fall nicely you have to make you have to copy this and assign this go to detail parameter and make the density all the way just yeah and simulate so it will be a little bit heavier and it will drip a little bit so it's just like problem with this you know what i'm gonna go and make this one make this smaller Right, that's how you can make a pocket so you can either control c and control v here and then control c control v you just you just get the point now i'm gonna spend spend some time to lower the particle distance and make it a little bit beautiful Right, so that's how I just did this kind of jacket instead of Cloth 3D or Morpheus Designer. I hope it is helpful. And oh yeah, I skipped a lot of part 
like this stitches and buttons you can add them i know you can so just add them make it a little bit fancier do it with another pose and yeah just make it cool so that's it for this video and i will see you in the next time really soon bye